Joining us, the great governor, the great state of Wisconsin, Scott Walker. Governor, how are you? I'm great. Good, good to you see you. Did you have fun out there? Yeah, I did. That's, it was pretty entertaining. It was pretty entertaining. Yeah, with Donald, I'm right next to Donald Trump, so of course it's It couldn't have been that bad, right? <laughs> uh, let's talk about this. One of the things that came up in the debate for you was the issue of abortion yeah. and the exemption for whether or not the mother's life is in jeopardy. Yes, it's a false choice. There's Explain. always a better option out there. I've said for years, medically, there's always a better choice than, than choosing between the life of an unborn baby and the life of the mother. So that's just a false choice out there. That was my point. There's always better choices out there. Medically, that's just a non-issue. You there. defunded Planned Parenthood in the state already. Before I did. These four, came four and a, almost four and a half years ago, right at the beginning of my time. I was a right. leader on that long before the videotapes, long before all the talk out there. That's when people talk about a pro-life record in this race. I've actually done it. Defunded Planned Parenthood, passed pro-life legislation, been a leader in that regard. One of the interesting laws that you passed in Wisconsin was the ultrasound law. Yeah. And these Planned Parenthood tapes, interestingly, would use ultrasound to, quote, preserve the body parts. What was your reaction to that? Well, and amazing, because at the time they went after us uh, on that very issue, even though they're using it. It's just remarkable. But, but even on that, I, I tried on that issue, certainly on foreign policy, instead of picking fights with fellow Republicans, many of whom I admire and are good friends with, to bring the fight back to Hillary Clinton. She's defending Planned Parenthood. She's extreme in terms of federal dollars uh, for abortion. We're the ones that are with the mainstream on this issue on, and on everything else, on foreign policy, domestic policy, you name it. Hillary Clinton's the person we should be talking Let's about. Let's talk immigration, such a big issue. And in the past, you had taken the position that you had, but you changed the vault. Explain the evolution. Yeah, for me, it was a combination of things. It was looking at uh, the president's horrible mishandling of this issue. It's why I joined with 25 uh, or 24 other governors. I was the 25th, one of the first ones to sign on to the lawsuit that's now blocked uh, the illegal action of the president from last year. And uh, I looked, talked to border state leaders. I talked to the American people. I think people want someone who listens to them. And I made it clear, secure the border, enforce the laws, no amnesty. And I'm fairly unique in this regard. I believe we should have a policy about legal immigration that gives priority to American working families and their wages. We, a lot of people know your record as, as governor, know the fights that you've had against unions, but you really have made an effort to reach out to foreign, governance, governor, uh, foreign governments and foreign leaders. Um, tell us about the experience you've had meeting with the Saudis and Egyptians and Israelis. It was earlier this year when I met with many of the Persian wow. Gulf leaders. It was amazing. I asked them, set aside the Iran deal for a minute. What's the biggest worry you have in the world today? They said the disengagement of America. That just shows this Obama-Clinton doctrine of leading from behind is not working, and we've got to do something different about it. It's when I met with Benjamin Netanyahu when I was in Israel. I didn't just meet with him. I'm an ally. I'm a supporter of his. I, I believe uh, that he's a great leader. But I also met with Herzog, the opposition leader, because I wanted to make it clear, if I'm president, there's no daylight between me and the state of Israel. It looked like in the debate that you had made a decision when you talked out about Hillary, everything that she has touched is worse off. Was that a decision that you weren't going to go after the guys on the stage? But no. I was listening to this exchange and they were talking all about Donald Trump. I said, I want to talk about Hillary Clinton. I mean, think about these emails. This woman could be... Uh, FBI uh, investigation. Oh, yeah. The, her, Criminal investigation. Her problem is real right now. She could be the deceiver-in-chief based upon what she said. She certainly can't trust her to be the commander-in-chief. And I think the more time we spend focusing on who's best going head-to-head -head against her, the better off we're. I'm a new, fresh face. She's a name from the past. I'm someone from outside of Washington. She's about as inside Washington can be. And I've actually done things. What did, what did you think of Donald Trump being the only person on the stage to say he wouldn't support. I thought it was wrong. When you think about Hillary Clinton, I mean, I think any of the 10 of us there tonight and any of the people we're on earlier would be infinitely better qualified and much better for the for America and for the world to be president than Hillary Clinton. All right. Governor, good to see you. Thanks good so much for staying, stopping Thank by. You. We appreciate it.